Hey, what's going on? New episode of Fate Grand Order Babylonia. Uh, we're going to Nippur. Because I think we were going to go rescue some citizens or something. Or actually, I think we're in Nippur. Uh, hmm. Question mark enemy. I'm probably going to go with the Berserker then. Uh, the question is, which Berserker? Go with the level 100 Heracles. Has a 10 and 1 and has a kaleidoscope. Oh, right, and Katie. Sorry, but you're my main target. I had my suspicions the last time we fought, but I didn't think they would have someone like you hidden up their sleeves. You're much scarier than the master from Chaldea. That's why I have to get rid of you right here and now. Anna? Ah! Ah! Anna! Anna! Could've just read that or said let that as it is, as I said it. Anna! This is bad. That wound would be could be fatal. Damn it, Kath Palug, do something. I know you have magical energy stored up. Use it now. I won't get mad. Fofo! Fo, are you... <clears throat> fo, fo! Uh, it teleported? They're gone. That didn't get eliminated. They didn't get eliminated, so they teleported? What is that animal? Master, it's an earthquake. Wait, no, this is... W what was that just now? Did the earth shake? Did Mount Eb erupt? No, that's not it. This is... No, she came straight here? This wasn't the plan. Has she no restraint? Is this... There's something under the earth. There's something under the earth! What is it? Lord Ushi Wakamaru, this is our chance. The earthquake must have set the demonic beasts fleeing. We can take the soldiers and retreat to the northern wall. Give me the order. No, that's no earthquake. That's the sound of something monstrous digging its way through the earth. Monstrous. What? What? What is? What is it? Hmm. What is it? I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but is it going to be what I think it is? Nope. It's not what I thought it was. It's Gorgon. Hello, Gorgon. A new type of demonic beast in the purr, but I've never heard of a demonic beast that big. That's gotta be a divine beast. It's bigger than Humbaba in the Cedar Forest. No, that's... that's... That's Tiamat. Heavens help us, the goddess of North really was Tiamat after all. Run, everyone, run! You're gonna be get killed. We're all gonna die. Run, run away, run away, run away! Everyone retreat, we can't beat that monster. Everyone, please calm down. The monster's tail is over there. <clears throat> Ooh, they're dead. One swish of that tail wiped everyone out, and it's blocking the gate. Archiman, hurry with the analysis of that thing. It may be hard to believe, but that's a servant. Surely you can at least tell its spirit origin, size, and class. I'm on it. Its spirit origin is a divine spirit class. Its upper body is 10 meters, and its total length including the tail, is over a hundred meters. Its classification is extra class, an Avenger. You're quite loud, humans. Mankind's sworn enemy, head of the three goddess alliance, the monster feared as the goddess of demonic beasts. Prostrate yourselves, pray and beg. Tiamat, the mother of all beasts, stands before you now. Oh, that's not Gorgon, that's Tiamat. Even though that's Gorgon when you get to summon her. I'm confused, but whatever. So, that's Tiamat? I trust you are well, Mother. It's nice to finally see you awake. But this is, wasn't exactly the plan. You were to rest until the day of rebirth. There was supposed to be more time before you appeared at the Northern Wall. Don't be so dull. I wanted to see what my child was playing with. The relics of Chaldea, are those the bugs that still cling to the world of man? Zoom in, zoom out. 
tiny, insignificant, such fragile, frail creatures. I do not understand at all. How did life like yours come this far? You are unworthy of tormenting, of killing, even of my gaze. Even your taste is nothing but disappointing. But rejoice, for I am very hungry right now. Even worthless lives like yours should still be tasty. Will humanity's last master be sweet or bitter? Tiamat is scowling at us. I can't move. Neither can I. Not at all. This, this is bad. Is this fear-induced paralysis or some sort of mystic eyes? It's, it's so powerful it even works on me. Uh, deep breaths, mash. Deep breaths, Merlin. Through your gills. <laughs> gills. Uh, deep breaths, mash. You're right. Deep, deep breaths. Right. Now is not the time to get scared. She might be a goddess, but why worship such an evil being? Mash. Trust your master. <laughs> mash. Trust your master. Oh damn it! I got hung up on my sentence. No matter who you are. No matter who you're up against, you're still alive right now. And you have the world's greatest swindler, Merlin, there with you. <laughs> nice, Archimon. Anyway, run to the northern wall. It's too early to give up. Right. Of course, I'll do what I can, Master. <clears throat> and Kido's dumbfounded. I see, so lively. At least that is interesting. Very well. Step back, my child. I will handle this. I will crush humanity's hope as if it were plucking a ripe strawberry. A fun and sweet end for you, don't you think? Ooh, it's only one battle. Tiamat Mushusus. Okay. Damn, she's big. And I did not realize that was Tiamat. Or she was named Tiamat. Six million health! Oh my god. That's a lot. Oh no. Uh, oh, their kaleidoscope's not at max. Um, let's see. Well, I'm gonna try and get rid of those pesky Mushusus with Reku. I'll save Heracles for, uh, Tiamat. Um, I wonder if I should activate that. One time, five turns, and uh, maybe not. Okay... Vengeful Lightning of the... No, let's do, uh... Let's do that. I'm not actually sure if the, uh... Noble Phantasms get the Buster Treat... Or Increase, but... Going for it anyway. Come on, Raikou. Kill them with one swing. At least the Mushusus. I know you can't kill Tiamat with... Your Noble Phantasm. When one swing. Zap. I got an overkill, so that's good. Damn, she was barely touched. Oh, damn it, I forgot. I have done this mission before, but I forgot that she does uh, an AoE, ra AoE attacks on everyone. Mazmahu. Oh, and Uridamuz. Shit. I didn't even think that those were going to be here. I forgot to look at the enemy count. Uh, Heracles is only NP1, so I'm going to use him now. Attack up, mental resist up, apply evade, and critical strength. Eh, yeah, the critical strength will be good. Uh, no need to worry about guts just yet. I'll increase Mash's... Or, pff, damn it, I did it again. Nero's Mental Resist. Oh, and I didn't even use that for Raikou. Okay. Uh, Buster Arts, 9 lives. I wonder if they're ever going to make a, another Heracles. Like a different class one. Maybe like the good version or something like that. A Heracles that isn't a beast under the Berserker's uh, corrupted mind trait thing. Oh, she's a yeller. 94,000. 
Ow. Oh, wow. Nero took a beating. Put Nia Theron. Ah, she heals. Maybe I should focus on the little ones first. Um, do that. Uh, let's see, that's an archer. Go with that. Good. Nice. Kind of wish I brought a... Oh, sorry, Raikou. Kind of wish I brought a... An Avenger. Like a Jean Alter. Heracles is not bad, but... Because he's a berserker, he takes double damage from everything. Ooh, it's going to be a tough fight. Oh, great, and John's going to take double super effective damage against Tiamat. The Uzmagalu is... Usumgalu has got 100,000 health. Yay! This is going to be a rough fight. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, let's go with that. Boom. Boom. Eh, that was okay, I guess. <coughs> oh, there goes Heracles. This is gonna be difficult. Oh, shit. She healed them to full health. So I essentially need to take them out in one swing. Hmm. Oh, boy. What to do, what to do. Um, well, since she's healing them, I might as well just attack her. Build up the Noble Phantasm, and then Noble Phantasm the smaller ones. Hang in there, Nero. Hmm. I should probably use Nero's Noble Phantasm. Uh-oh. Damn it, I didn't throw up any defenses. I didn't even look at her charge rate. Okay, looks like Nero's gonna be the only one to survive this. Because of her guts. I still have Mash, I guess, but... Oh, I really would have liked to at least use Skahawk's Gay Bulk alternative. Come on, Nero. Take him out in one attack run. Ooh, 30,000 on that one. That Uita move. Still not enough. Oh, not enough. Damn it. Pandemonium Kathus. Owie. And she's poisoned. Oh, wow. Well, never mind. I was gonna say, Skahawk survived that. How many guts does she have left? Probably just one. Yay, heal. Uh, one use left for two turns. Hmm. Do that. And... Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, back to focusing on her, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. Hopefully it's just to survive as long as you can fight. And I don't actually need to kill anything. Zero damage. Nice. Hey, and her better healing one. Okay, I've got her Noble Phantasm again. And I could, uh, build mashes. Which is what I'm gonna do. 
not gonna kill the smaller ones, but I'll at least chip away a Tiamat. Lao Santo Claudius. It's an interesting Tiamat concept. I like it. I'm used to the seeing the Dungeons and Dragons version where it's uh the five elements. Uh oh, good. It was a survive as long as you can. Yay! We did it, Mash and Nero. Uh, but I'm used to seeing uh, Tiamat with being a dragon with five heads representing five elements and being different colors. Or maybe it's more than five heads. I think there's lightning, fire, wind, ice, and steel. Or metal. I don't understand at all. This is the first time I've felt baffled. Even with a life as fragile as yours, you still have all of your limbs attached. That makes no sense at all. I don't see any damage to Tiamat. The second we wound her, she regenerates. Is that the authority given to her in the Mesopotamian creation myth as mother of the demonic beast? No, that's not an authority of a goddess. She's regenerating from the Holy Grail's supply of magical energy. I just confirmed it. That servant has the King of Mages' Holy Grail. Oh, it seems you have a knowledgeable one with you. That is indeed what I possess. But don't make light of me. I'm not using the Holy Grail's magical energy at all. I have manifested as the goddess of demonic beasts. I wouldn't use power from elsewhere to destroy the humans. I am using my own power, my own hatred, my own anger, and that's enough to destroy you three times over. Medusa, you're so pretty. Ugh. We're practically useless against the goddess's authority, and now she has a holy grail too? Now I've had enough of this nonsense. You will die screaming. Playtime is over. Run, everyone! It's only 100 meters to the Nippur Gates. But we won't make it. She's just too big. We're not gonna make it. We can't even get out of her arm's reach. At least I need to get Senpai out of here. You've done well in holding out this long. Leave the rest to me, Mash. Ushiwakamaru? Uh, I guess I could have just... Uh, Ushiwakamaru? Uh, where's Benkei? He couldn't keep up with me. Tell him not to worry. We survived? It's fine, Lord Bahamut. Please be cheerful. Victory won't come to those who cannot smile. In my past life, Minamoto no Yoshitsune's life, I didn't have that. Thus, even in victory, I kept losing until the end. That sort of end wouldn't fit you. Bye, Ushiwakamaru. Another bug, huh? You're an eyesore. I will crush you. The tail. <laughs> Ridiculous. You're no Miyamoto. You cannot catch a bug with that body of yours. Oh, doing her noble phantasm. How dare you run on top of my tail. That serpent form has gotten the better of you. The wandering tales of Shana'o, Act 2, Usu, Midori, Heavenly Blade Steps. Taste my sword. Her eyes... How dare you wound my face with your blade. I won't forgive you. Be gone. Her tail sweeping the sky. This is useless. I can't even run through the skies without any ships. It takes a master to grab a fly with chopsticks. But anyone, even Lady Masako, couldn't hit such a beast with a sword. I never thought I would be done in by a snake's tail. I seem to have come to another pathetic end. No, Ushiwakamaru. Oh, there she goes. Damn, that sucks. No, I was starting to like her. She was a good three-star servant. Okay, I should have time for another one. The Mother of Demonic Beasts. Uh, they want me to use Merlin. But I don't think I will. I'm gonna grab a Avenger, I think. Ooh, this one's got a hundred or a ten in each slot. Okay, everyone else should be fine. I 
Ushiwakamaru. Master Ushiwakamaru is... Oh, she's crying. I never noticed that. Mash, don't stop. There's been no change in Tiamat's signature. She's catching up to you with incredible speed. She'll break through Nippur's wall soon. And she has. So, that's where you were, insects. I'm not letting you get away. I may have lowered myself into the form of a demonic beast, but I am still a god. Don't try to make me a liar. What a persistent goddess. Just like a snake. I suppose that's rude to snakes, though. They don't act out of resentment. You don't stop talking, do you, mage? Very well, I will crush you first. Heh, <laughs> try it if you can. Take this chance to run away, Bahamut. I didn't mention this before, but I'm immortal. After all, I'm half Incubus. The second this body is smashed, I will reappear in the world of dreams. But I'll need some time to return, so let's decide on a place to meet. How about the king's... Hold on, what? Wait, could this be... Immortal due to powerlessness? In that case, it's been a while, but I'll use my eyes. I've collected enough human statues, but a statue of a half-incubus might look good in my temple. The mystic eyes of petrification? Damn it, my one true weakness. Sorry, I take it all back, Bahamut. Protect me. Whatever it takes, defend me, Bahamut. I can't explain it, but it'd be really bad if I lost consciousness. If I get turned to stone, everything we have done here will be for naught. Uh, if I must, I was planning on it from the get-go. Uh, I was planning on it from the get-go. I'll be nice to him. She blocked it with her shield. Right, leave it to me, Master. We're almost to the northern wall. We'll get away for a win any way we can. I see. So you can block my mystic eyes with your shield. You're being extremely reckless, girl. My tongue dances. My lips drip. My blood boils with past humiliation. You humans will be sacrificed. My thousand mystic eyes will turn the fortress and everything around it into ash. Ah, one fatal bottle, okay. And her health's much lower. Two million. Oh, that's still not very low, in my opinion. Um, I kind of want to build up Raiko's noble phantasm, but if it looks like her health is going to drop instantly, I'm going to just fire it off, so let's see if I can try and build it. Um, yeah, let's do that. Figures with the body of Gorgon, she's able to use Mystic Eyes of Petrification. And her hair is even snakes. Ooh, guarded against that, whatever it was. Raiko's almost full. Ooh, owie. Uh, she's so close. It'd be risky doing it, though. How long does this last? One turn. Damn it. Oh, I could stun her. Although I don't have any... I don't have any Raiko cards there. Uh, what to do? What to do, indeed. I guess I'll just fire it off. And I'll fire off Jean as well, just to be safe. Even though Jean's not going to take as much damage as uh, Raikou. Sadoda. Actually, I guess it would have been good to have Merlin. He could have leveled up uh, Raikou's uh, Noble Phantasm. Oh well. Um, anything else I need to charge? No. Um, do that, that, and that. Reko would do more damage, I feel, because she's Berserker. So I'll get her the NP bonus. La Grande du Hain. I wonder if um, Jean Alter's Rosebud at the end of her Flower Bud can end, open up like a regular Jean's sword. Fire off some sort of La Pousille. 144,000. Maybe she did do more than Raiko will. Let's see... 11, 8, 8, 5... 
11, 8, 17, yeah, no. Jean did more damage. But she was close, I guess. Oh, they're all pet they're all stunned. Thankfully two of them ooh, they both almost have their noble phantasm back up. I'll stun her now. Seeing as they're all stunned, why not stun her back? Oh, and she takes poison damage too. Nice. Oh, Jean's got hers. What card does she have? Uh, increase attack by 15 and begin battle with NP charged at 50. Oh. I thought she was gaining NP for some reason every turn. Um, guess my only option is... Should I fire off another Log Grand Dement to Hain? I think I should. So... I will go with that, that, and that. Sorry, Nero. They're gonna do more damage, so... You'll probably be playing second and third, or third fiddle to them. Must kill her as quickly as I can, or at least outlast her. Boom. Probably won't be 144,000 like her last one was, because her abilities are not used. 78,000 though. Okay, Raiko's back. Ooh, oh, she's dead. If she hadn't... Wow, Jean's already got her Noble Phantasm again. If she hadn't fired that third one, I could have had a full Noble Phantasm party going. And it's the other Jean. I wonder if that means I can stun her since she's a Divine Spirit. Um... Okay, so I'm going to do that and give Jean the NP bonus. Still 1,604,000. Ooh, it's going to be a battle of attrition. Lao Santo Claudius. Boom. 50,000. Not bad, actually. Especially on just one enemy. I don't even think she had any buffs going. Third La Grande, La Grande Mente du Hain in a row. Well, not really in a row, but whatever. Three quicker than anyone else I've used. Total petrification. Oh. Looks like Jean survived. Oh, right, Jean's gonna take double damage. And there goes the other Jean. And she's got her Noble Phantasm. Oh, she's triple poisoned, though. Sweet. Come on, stun. No effect. Come on, and lower NP strength. No effect. Oh, no, I can't protect Nero. She's, uh, yeah. Damn it, she's stunned. Don't know why I'm activating that. She's about to die. Oh, well, that's great. I think even if I swapped Nero out, she'd still be stunned when she came back in. Pandemonium Kytus. Ooh, she barely survived. Oh, she's dead now. Sorry, Nero. I'm sorry. Skyhawks almost got her Noble Phantasm, and it's just these two. Um, I'll go with that. Defense up and damage cut. And I'll do that. That way I can definitely build her Noble Phantasm up. Get a stun in for one turn when it fires off. There we go. Giving her more Noble Phantasm. Oh damn it, she's stunned. Almost got full Noble Phantasm. Uh, wait. How long does that defense up last for two turns? Um, well, if I do this, she'll at least gain more Noble Phantasm. 
Okay. Uh, no point in using uh, any Scott Hot cards. Make sure I get Lord Chaldea. Nice. Look at that MP increase. Plus, when she attacks, it'll go up even more. Well, not by much. That one will. They both have their max noble phantasm. Very nice. I'm gonna save Lord Camelot for a noble phantasm attack, though. Her charge attack. Ooh, divine. Strength up against divine, right? Yeah, strength up against divine. It's gonna work immensely on her. Um. Might as well do a quick attack party. Okay, there's ten coin stars and a few more stars, and this will get me a lot more stars. Okay, Bulgar Trinitive. Oh, I don't think that stun actually took effect. I didn't see the symbol. 148,000! Plus whatever else she did. Nope, just 148. Oh, it did stun her. And it's already gone. Uh, let's see. One more turn and then she's gonna fire off a... her pandemonium chitus. Do that. That and that, I guess. Got a defensive person and an attacking person. I may have to use command seals for this fight if it's not a survive as long as you can one. Oh, okay, thank god. That was close. If she fired off Pandemonium Kaitis, I'm pretty sure they all would have died. Especially with near, uh, Smash being petrified. Even though I had Lord Camelot. Okay, how's she gonna react to all that damage? Such desperate measures. How odd. It seems it was a mistake to underestimate you. I suppose you were powerful enough to overcome six singularities. Enough, even to stop me breaking you down in one breath. However, I will kill you all. Every single one of you must die at our hands. Down to the last child. Scatter, flee, you pathetic creatures of flesh. The beasts of Kur will devour you. The lives you've ended scream it for your blood. Silence, monster! Your fixation on pure brutality rivals even the king of Persia. Speak and be heard if you have grievances. My three hundred soldiers and I will give you a chance to do so. Here goes. My friends, bring your souls hither. Thermopyle Enomosia. He's already activated his noble phantasm. Foo. Good. It seems I somehow made it here in time. King Leonidas, you rushed over here from the gates. No, this can't be. Oh, oh, he's turning to stone. It is unavoidable. Our protection is simply sturdy shields. Sturdy, yes, but nothing like the shields wielded by legendary heroes. And so, of course, we can only block physical attacks. Damn, that sucks. Which is why I was able to deflect your heat ray. Does that shake your old bones, Greek goddess? Monstrous, accursed creature, transformed by Athena, and loathed by all, murderer of many heroes. You are the monster born from the sisters of the Shapeless Isle. No, the composite deity, the great demonic beast, Gorgon. Ah, so they do reveal her as Gorgon. So it's King Leonidas. He deflected my heat gaze and spoke a cursed name. But because it was you, O King of Flames, you who discarded nothing, even when you yourself were abandoned, I will charge you with no other sins. At least I a hero. You needn't see the end of the human world. Heh, <laughs> that is not possible. Just like my soul, the human world is immortal. No, Leonidas. Damn, that's two heroes down. Just as you have, the human world will inevitably end. The world's most powerful protector has died for nothing. What better proof could you ask for? Raise your voices, demonic beasts. The time has come. 
I myself will assault Uruk and kill the king. Unleash your hatred and trample down the humans who escaped. Right? What the? That's Tiamat? Or is it Gorgon? Jeez, this is so confusing. Right? That's what I said. She was so focused on Bahamut earlier, but now she's not paying any attention to him. She's planning on just advancing with the demonic beasts. It's unfortunate, but it seems so. Perhaps King Leonidas' words calmed her down. Like a human trampling ants underfoot, she will continue from here towards Uruk. Right now, we have no way to stop that. Just pray that she doesn't stomp us down on a whim. This... this can't be. Ushiwakamaru and King Leonidas saved us, yet we can't do anything about this? Please wait. Isn't that a little short-sighted, Mother? What? Conquering Uruk is only a small step. Isn't the real issue the other goddesses, rather than the humans? The alliance is dissolved once Uruk falls. The second generation is reserved for those coming battles. 100,000 offspring await birth in the blood fort. Until they're born, the three goddesses' alliance must continue. Besides, ending like this won't be satisfying. We should take our time tormenting humans. They took away the beasts' land and young. They oppressed mother. They forgot everything. Flames of hatred do not burn without a target. You can't possibly discard hatred so easily. Mother, you are no longer a Greek goddess. You are an incarnation of Tiamat, a god of Mesopotamia. So please, think it over. Return to your blood fort. Hmm? Be grateful at the restraint of my son, my son shows. Humans, however, your fated destruction still looms. Ten dawns from now, we will destroy Uruk. If you value your lives, flee to the ends of the earth. If you can escape, that is, over 100,000 of my demonic beasts will come to new life in my temple. Merely killing you off won't be enough, so try to save yourselves if you can. When you've drowned in terror, abandoned your comrades, gone mad from doubt, and become mere beasts, then I will grind what remains of you to dust. Bye, Gorgon. Thanks for killing all our heroes. Phew, thankfully she retreated. Life is hard when you have such an unreasonable parent. That's one thing we have in common with humans. Children can't choose their parents. Don't you think so, Bahamut? What's the meaning of this? The meaning? I just saved your lives. I mean, it'd be so disappointing if this was the end, right? For Mother, you are all vermin that need to be exterminated. In truth, she needs to focus on the other goddesses. And the other two goddesses seem to be utilizing humans effectively. So, if we just slaughtered all the humans, those two would be upset. I serve Tiamat, so, to ensure things go smoothly, I'm keeping humans alive a bit longer. What in the world are you... Oops. Oh, I don't need to hide that any longer either. I, like the demonic beasts, am a creation of Mother. A prototype, a prototype of the people who will rule the world in your place. Replacing... You archaic humans who abandoned her. A new breed of humanity created by the great Tiamat, the primordial goddess. My true name is Kingu. Kingu? It's the name of the god that led the eleven offspring of Tiamat in cr the creation myth. Right, but I'm not a reincarnation or anything stupid like that. That Kingu was a failure who feared Marduk, and fled there was no need to revive such a and fled. There was no need to revive such a coward. But I am different. I am a perfect being. But I am different. I am a perfect being, modeled after Enkidu, the greatest masterpiece of the gods. I was designed as the perfect, new human. So, I guarantee you, humans will not go extinct. Humanity will be reborn right here, with me. After you old humans die out, I will be the f damn it, I hit the button. After you old humans die out, I will be the first of the new humans. We will take over and continue with our history. With your history. So, rest assured as you are annihilated, the last salvation you are given is the joy of returning to the void. Well, that was cheery. I'm so happy to not be doing civilian quests though. This is much more interesting. Lord Leonidas, the commander who never stopped defending this normal northern wall, 
has passed away. The demonic beasts keep coming, and our enemy is Tiamat. This is truly the end. In ten days, Mesopotamia will fall to ruin. There you are. So, Lord Leonidas is indeed dead. I'm going to take my leave as well. Please give King Gilgamesh my apologies for not meeting his expectations. Uh, Benke, why? I, well, I failed my master once again. When that goddess of demonic beasts appeared, Lord Yoshitsune rushed out to save you without a second look. However, I could not do that. It wasn't that I couldn't catch up to Lord Yoshitsune. It was that I faltered, even if only for a moment. I was no match for that goddess. I protected myself, thinking there was no way I could win against her. As a result, I sent Lord Shitsune, Yoshitsune off alone yet again. I fled from my lord as she rushed to her final battle. I was a coward, unfit to be Musashibo after all. Now I can no longer see the point in fighting. Th that's not true. We need your power, Benkei. You overestimate me. The only fate fit for a fool like me is to die in some ditch in the wilds, fighting demonic beasts. Hmm. He's gone. He left for the ruins of Nippur, where Ushiwakamaru fought. Seems so. His dropout heart his dropout hurts our combat strength, but if he's not motivated, there's nothing we can do. We might as well tell a soulless corpse to fight for us. We need to seek warriors who can fight, not those who can't. Oh, don't look at me like that. Even I can understand Ben K's feelings. But, look over there. Idiot, what's with the sullen looks? Tiamat is gone, but the demonic beasts remain. Which means there's only one thing to do. Look for survivors, rescue the injured, and regroup. Guard the fortress, replenish your, our weapons, train those muscles. That is the everyday life Lord Leonidas pounded into us. Ugh, no matter when, he never made a single complaint. Even when facing the jaws of death or an inferior position, he never abandoned his will to act. I'm not saying you should fly. Take some bricks and line them up here. It's something anyone can do, and it's the most important thing. He did that until the very end. That's... that's... you're right, right? That was the pride of this land. It wasn't just the pride of Lord Leonidas, it was the pride of every one of us. That's right. Now we will regroup the squadron right away. That monster only melted away part of the rampart. Drag out the resident construction squad and begin repairs. Tell the engineers everything that happened. We need to prepare for further attacks. Everyone, they were all in such low spirits, but now... Yeah, they swallowed their terror and stood up. We can't afford to be depressed either. You're right. There are people out here that aren't crushed even after seeing that. There's no way that Musashibo Benkei wouldn't stand up after seeing them behave like that. Yeah, he just needs time for now. He's sure to return. Until then, we need to protect, proceed with our countermeasures. We first need to regroup with Anna, since Kath Paluk teleported her somewhere. Then we need to return to Uduk and report to King Gilgamesh. We lost a lot this time, but also gained a lot. The demonic beast goddess's true name and true nature, Kingu claiming to be its son, and the whereabouts of the mages, Mage King's Grail. With this much information, we can think of the next step. The situation is finally turning around. We've seen nothing but defeat until now. It's about time we get a counterattack going. Isn't that right, Bahamut of Chaldea? I've noticed how you love to make a comeback in the second half. Of course, we're just getting started. If possible, I'd like to win from the start. If possible, I'd like to win from the start. <laughs> That'd make us feel a bit better, but in order for that to happen, we'll need you to mature a little more. How rude. I'm mature. Ooh, is this the blood fort? Where is this? I haven't disappeared yet. My body is fine, but my limbs... Does she not have any limbs? Oh. They're fused with the wall. I can neither flee nor die like this. Forward. I just need to keep going forward. If I do, I can get outside. That's right. When you leave the temple, there will be a lake. Use normal cedars, not the black ones, to guide your way. What happens after that is none of my concern, but you should be able to survive for ten days or so if you stick around the lake. You can head to the city and try to avoid the demonic beast, or you can breathe your last 
there at the lake. Do what you like. Yeah, thanks, mister. If you like, please come see us. That was... Oh, are you awake already? I expected nothing less from a servant. You're as tough as a demonic beast. Green hair, beautiful features, you must be Ankidu. This is the first time I've seen your face. Still, what a horrific sight. Is this what your home... Is this your home base? I suppose you've taken me prisoner because you planned to do that to me. I'm glad you're quick to understand. As you can see, this is a factory of sorts. Tiamat's demonic beasts are all created from one maternal body, but that alone has its limits. So, if it's greater numbers and a wider variety of species we desire, what we truly need is a larger womb. This temple was created for that purpose. One piece of flesh creates about three Uridimus, on the other hand, three pieces of flesh only yield a single Ugalu. I see. You call them Tiamat's offspring, but this is horrible. In the end, they weren't even soldiers. For you, they're nothing but expendable tools. Oh, sorry, my hand slipped a bit. I seem to have spilled some of your guts. But you're alright, aren't you? Yes, yes. Both of us were a bit too careless. Me, my hands, that move so easily. You, that cheeky mouth of yours. You should watch that. Though, soon enough, you will be just like them. Once we plant an egg in that stomach, you will begin to change, however slowly. The saving grace is that the brain morphs last. You will be yourself until the final moment. Oh, so I see both you and the so-called mother are fools. Leaving the consciousness intact until the very end is the poorest plan. Every single one of them must have fought to the very end, even after the transformation wasn't complete. All you did was give them strength to fight. You're not wrong, but it's nothing you need to worry about. Those that become materials melt away from the extremities. In the end, their limbs end up like maggots. And after you turn into nothing more than slimy goo, you are tossed into each demonic beast's adjustment tank. You can resist all you want, fantasize about it to your heart's content, We'll let you dream that much. I see, for all that, you seem a bit lax. What? Why did you let the children escape? I thought you only let us dream. A difference in values. I don't have any grudges like Mother. I only kill threats. I kill human soldiers because they could potentially be threats against me. The young ones, the children, will not be threats. So there is no need to kill them here. But there's no reason to keep them alive, either. Whatever you may think, you heard the voice of that child calling for help and answered it. How strange from the enemy of humanity, trying to act like a demon, yet unable to embrace complete cruelty. You know what folk... You know what folk like that are called? Clowns. They are ridiculed on the battlefield as such. <laughs> I see. It seems like a special treatment is required for you. No egg for you. Instead, I'll take you to see Mother. The true authority of Tiamat is the Sea of Life. Those that fall into the sea, that sea, become Tiamat's child as they are. Servants are no exception. Frankly put, it's a kind of black mud that corrupts any spirit origins. Primordial life, the Sea of Chaos. In the world of Magecraft, it is called the Mud of the Holy Grail. The King of Mages named this the Chaos Tide. I'm looking forward to it now, Ushiwakamaru. What kind of monster will you become? Yay, St. Quartz. Now I'm up to 42. Okay, I think I'll end the episode here. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next part. This video was slightly longer because of how long that dialogue took. But it was very interesting, so I'm okay with it. Uh, see ya. Bye.